What's going on all you mentees? This is the Uncanny Omar from Near Main Condition and join me today as we take a look at the DC Collected Editions solicitations for September. So join me. Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, before getting started, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. We put out videos every day, sometimes two, sometimes three depending on how crazy things get around here. Uh, we are on Patreon and on Spreadshop, where you can get our logos on stickers and t-shirts, hats, mugs, whatever it is you want. It's a great way to support the channel, and thank you to our existing patrons for making videos like this possible. Uh, so we're going to be looking at the solicits for September for DC Collected Editions. Uh, last month, there was some confusion because some of the books weren't available yet for pre-order, and it looks like at least one of them has made it into this month. Uh, for September. So we're going to be looking at that. I'm glad that's it's still in the catalog. It hasn't been canceled. And speaking of catalog, I have been asked a lot in the last couple of days what is going on with some of these books. Uh, New Teen Titans still not in the catalog. Batgirl of Burnside. Somebody was getting worried that they didn't find it in the previews and it looks like it's been canceled. But it looks like it's just been moved. As a matter of fact, it's part of this catalog. So we'll be looking at this together. So as always, I like to remind everybody, just in case, sometimes the dates change. Sometimes the, the, the release date will change. As long as it's not canceled, that's not what we want to see. We don't want to see a date of 2079 on Amazon. That's the case right now. If you look up the Tom Strong compendium, it's showing a date of the year 2079. That's never a good sign. That usually means they're about to take it out of the catalog, which was the case with New Teen Titans number 6. Hopefully, both of those books will be back later. All right, so let's go ahead and kick off these collected editions. Um, number one here on the on on this particular list is the Joker Volume One. I had no idea this was a series. So this is after the events of Infinite Frontier Number Zero and Joker War. This is written by James Tinian and it's drawn by Gillian March. And I love Gillian March's artwork, so I'm glad to see him come back and do uh, monthly work. And it looks like it collects the first six issues of the Joker. One I'm very excited about that I got to read for Old Reader, New Reader. However, this collects all 12 issues of this series, uh, or 12 issues of the series, is Far Sector by N.K. Jemison and artwork by Jamal Campbell. And, oh man, the art, Jamal's artwork is so freaking awesome. Now, N.K. Jemison's the writer on the, the fifth season and The City We Became. But Jamal's artwork on Naomi, that's the Brian Michael Bendis book, was stellar. This collects all 12 issues of that, or the 12, first 12 issues of that. I'm not sure if it's an ongoing or not. The other history of the DC Universe is coming out uh, on, looks like November, collecting the other history of the DC Universe 1 through 5. So this is written by John Ridley, and John Ridley is the gentleman that did uh, 12 Years a Slave, uh, Let It Fall, and he is going to be the current writer on Black Panther for Marvel Comics. Uh, Giuseppe Comancoli is doing the artwork in here. And what I'm very excited about is the Milestone Compendium. So this book is huge. This book has 1,320 pages, and it retails for $59.99. Again, it is a soft cover because it's a compendium. But this collects the Blood Syndicate 1 through 12, Hardware 1 through 12, Icon 1 through 10, Static 1 through 8, Zombie 0 through 11, Shadow Cabinet number 0, and then this includes a lot of arcs that's never been collected. Dwayne McDuffie, the late Dwayne McDuffie, uh, doing a lot of the writing here. Uh, you also have the talents of Dennis Cohen, John Paul Leon, who passed away recently, M.D. Bright, uh, Erica Helene, and Brian McDonald. Next up is Wonder Woman by George Pettis, Volume 6. So this is the final volume, collecting issues 58 through 62, and War of the Gods 1 through 4. So it does contain War of the Gods. Um, and this wraps up the 1987 series that he started after crisis on infinite earth so all five years of wonder woman are collected through these six trade paperbacks and those are in three omnibus editions as well as an absolute edition or at least one volume of an absolute edition i'd love to know how you are collecting them though and i and if i i want to say that war of the gods has for the first time phil jimenez's artwork in a comic book american vampire 1976 is coming out and this collects the 10 issues of that series. And this is the the last chapter of American Vampire. 
So maybe now we can get an Omnibus Volume 2. So it's the reunion of Scott Snyder and Raphael Abakurki coming together to wrap up that story. And the one of the books in question was Batgirl of Burnside. So it looks like Batgirl of Burnside Omnibus is in this solicit and it looks like it's going to be on sale on November 23rd. So that's probably part of the reason why it was moved around, or it looked like it had been canceled. So collecting the remaining issues of the New 52 Batgirl, 35 through 52, Annual Number 3, DC Sneak Peek Batgirl Number 1, Endgame Number 1, and a story from Secret Origins Number 10. And another Bat book, but one a lot of people are excited about, and that is Batman by Scott Snyder, also coming out on uh, in November, Volume 2. So Scott Snyder, Greg Capullo, Danny Mickey coming together to wrap up this series, collecting issues 34 through 52 of New 52 Batman, annuals 3 and 4, Futures and number 1, Sneak Peek Batman number 1, Last Night on Earth 1, 2, and 3, Detective Comics 27, and 1000. So I'm glad they added Last Night on Earth because we had Zero Year, and I feel like that's the bookend title for this particular run on, on Scott Snyder's Batman. Batman Superman, Volume 2, World's Deadliest. This collects issues 7 through 15. So you have Joshua Williamson writing it, uh, Clayton Henry, uh, Nick Darrington doing some of the artwork. Del oh, Dale Eaglesham. Uh, Batman and Superman Annual Number 1 is also collected in there. Batman Last Night on Earth is getting a trade paperback edition, collecting that three-issue miniseries. Again, it's going to be part of the Omnibus edition, and it's also been collected in standard size hardcover. Batman Volume 1, Their Dark Designs. This is the James Tinian run, and it is available in trade paperback. So collecting Batman 85 to 94. So you got artwork in here by uh, Gillian March, Tony S. Daniel, um, and Jorge Jimenez. Now, this takes place after the Tom King run. So in case you're wanting to know when to read this. Because I know with new volume ones, there's always some confusion as to when they take place. So it's during the Rebirth era. Green Arrow, the Longbow Hunter Saga, Omnibus Volume 2. Or as we like to call it, Green Arrow by Mike Grell, Omnibus Volume 2. So yes, Mike Grell wrapping up his run. Issues 51 through 80. I love how they padded this out. Uh, the Wonder Year miniseries, all four issues of that. Shadow, uh, four issues. That's never been collected. Shadow 1 through 4. Brave and the Bold 1 through 5. Green Arrow Annuals 4 and 6. So I hope, I mean, it's 1,480 pages. $150. I really hope this sells. What? Wait, wait, okay. So I didn't notice this. It's, well, at least here, this could be a misprint, but it says it's part of the Black Label line. Is that because of its mature content? I don't know. I don't think the first one had a Black Label line. I think it's just DC. Inferior 5. This is Keith Giffen. Sold. Jeff Lemire. Hell yes. And Scott Collins, as well as Scott Koblish. Koblish? Oh, this is, I, I didn't even know about this. So, this is a mini series that's collected in soft cover. And I have no idea what it is, but all those check what I need in a good book. All those people I just named. $16.99, and it is a soft cover, 152 pages. Man Bat is coming out in soft cover edition, collecting uh, the five issue mini series of Man Bat. Now, here's one that was uh, previously. In, in the last catalog, or in the last solicits, but it's officially here now. So it's been moved until October 19th. And that is Superman to Man of Steel, Volume 4. So this collects the final volume. It's It says it's the final volume. Because John Byrne ends up leaving the title. And then we get the Triangle Years. So collecting Superman 16 through 22, uh, Adventures of Superman 439 to 444, Doom Patrol 10, Action Comics... 598 to 600 and Superman annual number two now the interesting thing or the thing you may probably notice is that okay if you have those four hardcovers what's next well if you have the exile Superman exile and other stories omnibus that takes place immediately after adventures of Superman 444 and Superman 22 however because um, it collects issues 23 to 37 of Superman. However, this ends with Action Comics number 600, and that omnibus starts with Action Comics 643. So there is a big gap, like the uh, Christopher Priest run is not collected. Um, it, I mean, some of it is collected in trade paperbacks here and there, but 
a lot of it is missing. So I don't know what they're going to do. Um, but like I was saying, it does match up perfectly with Superman and Adventures of Superman. It's those action comics you're missing about 40-something issues of action comics not collected. Because there's so many issues um, in between because action comics was coming out weekly during that time. So I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know if they're going to collect the triangle years in, in this standard edition hardcover format. I don't know if they're going to do omnibus editions, but this is labeled as the final volume. So if you have the trade paperbacks one through nine, that's all, uh, all of that is collected in this four volume hardcover set. The flash volume 15 finish line, Joshua Williamson and Howard Porter come back for this soft cover edition of the flash. This is the rebirth era, or I guess I don't even know what it's not rebirth anymore. I'm not even sure what they call it. Um, the now? The now era? Yeah. We're looking at now. A anyway, uh, to wrap up the, uh, the September solicits, we have Sandman, the Deluxe Edition Book 4. So it looks like there's going to be one more book because this goes all the way up to issue 69 and a story from Vertigo Jam number 1. So I, uh, 528 pages, $49.99. It's a hardcover edition, Deluxe Edition. So Book 5, I say, would probably... Con collect the rest of the Sandman issues and probably have the Endless Nights as well as Overture. Maybe it might have Overture. I'm not sure. They may do a number zero and just call it uh, or just put Overture in there. But that's it. That's uh, that's all the books for the September catalog. And when these books come out, don't forget to check out our sponsor. CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online source for collected editions up to 50% off retail price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on excellent packaging, so your stuff gets to you in excellent condition, and they have amazing customer service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And for all you minties that are watching, if you're a first-time customer, don't forget to mention that Near Mint Condition sent you their way for a promotional credit on free shipping on your next order. Now, this is only for U.S. customers. Customers. CheapGraphicNovels.com, your source for the hottest books with deep discounts, customer service, and excellent shipping that will keep you coming back for more. In the comments, don't forget to leave what you're excited about, how you think you're going to collect the Superman books, or how, how you would want to see them collect the Superman books post-John Byrne. If you want to see the Man of Steel hardcovers release in oversized format and an omnibus format. Uh, speaking of Man of Steel, Volume 1 comes back to print sometime this month. I think it's already, you can pre-order it from uh, CheapGraphicNovels.com. So it, it is coming back with a restock. I don't know how big the restock is going to be for those that missed out on Volume 1 of uh, Man of Steel. But yes, if you have any more questions, leave them down below. Let me know what you want to see in future solicits. For me, I mean, it's, it's a no-brainer. There's a lot I want to see, uh, and I've done my top 20. I need to work on my top 20 Batman, most wanted Batman omnibus. But that's it. Don't forget to smash that like button. Ring that bell for notifications to let you know when our videos are going live. We are on Spreadshop and on Patreon. Amazing ways to support the channel. And more importantly, all of you stay healthy, stay safe. Much love. <laughs>